Um, so yeah, you saw my last videos. Um, we were, I was running this on a virtual environment. Uh, so I'm now running this in, this live USB on my test rig. Um, at the moment, preferably to start with, we're going to need to have an LCD connected to get through these options. So it's just a case of hitting enter. Um, I don't have a 15 kilohertz DMS mode, uh, DRM mode, KMS mode installed. Something to look into. Also, desktop resolution at the moment doesn't automatically switch to 15 kilohertz yet. Uh, but because I know where the options are, um, I don't need to have an LCD connected. So we'll just run through everything so you can see how it all works. So we'll go to the start menu and do our 15 kilohertz mode install. Um, this is um, one of the screens you would have seen from the virtual environment uh, to give you the option for ATI, Intel and NVIDIA. Currently running this on an Intel graphics card, so I'm going to press 2. Type in my video output. And that will now give us our 15 kilohertz mode. Um, it is running a bit slow, but that's due to it running on a live CD, or a live USB, should I say. Uh, right, so I'll just mount my ROM drive. And then we'll kick RetroWatch off. Uh, remember, this is still the live USB, so nothing's being installed. So we'll put RGUI on. As that's the best one for it until eventually we end up with emulation station which is on the cards and have our options and restart these options will be set by default eventually so we won't have to go through that that first process and then we'll turn on a CRT switch 1920 which is good for most video cards And there we are, we are in 240p test suite on a live CD, live USB. And what we'll do is we'll kick off with a 240p test suite. There is our 240p scroll test. Just get a nice zoom in there so you can uh, get a good look at it all. I'll switch that up to a horizontal scroll. As you can see, that runs absolutely lovely. Um, and then we'll just uh, we'll do a quick interlace test as well, just to show how that's working. Uh, my favourite test for that is Sonic 2, as you're probably all aware by now. Okay, I can't see the emulator there for some reason, just Pika drives popping up. Bear with me for a second. Let's grab Sonic out of the other folder. It's probably because I've got it plugged in via a USB drive, so. As you can 
obviously audio is working straight off the bat as well. And that's obviously the interlaced patch running as well. And yeah, as I say um, in the videos before, this is kind of still in it's probably beta stages by now. Uh, still a lot more to do. Um, yeah, just uh, bear with me and we'll have it up and running soon. Cheers.